Joining us right now is Dr. Pablo Sabalos, a medical expert. Dr. Sabalos is going to be joining us because there's a study out right now that says binge watching TV can actually kill you. Good morning, doctor. How are you? Good, mo good morning. Thank you for having me on today. Doctor, explain too much uh, how, how about watching too much television can kill you. No, no problem. So the key, the key thing is, is the binge watching part. So there's a new study that came out uh, from Japan that showed uh, there was a 40% increase in chance of a pulmonary embolism, which can cause death, if you watch uh, more than two hours at a time. And it was interesting because they did a study that showed if you watch more than five hours, there's two times an increase in risk of basically death than if you watch less than two hours at a time. So binge watching can uh, truly can actually kill you. Well, that, that's scary as somebody who binge watches lots of shows. Does it matter what you're watching? Like if I binge watch House of Cards uh, compared to yesterday when I was watching a million Sunday news shows. I think the, the key word is the binge is in the previous days when we used to watch TV, we'd be able to watch the TV and there was always a commercial on it. So you had to get up, move your legs, stretch out, go get some you know, water, coffee, snacks. But now with, you're correct, streamlining the House of Cards, Game of Thrones, all those shows, you sit there for four or five hours, not, you know, lying down, not doing anything or sitting down, and that's the issue. It's when you don't move around, when you become sedentary, that's the biggest issue with binge watching. So it's not necessarily the shows, but it's actually the length of time. The actual risk might be even worse than the findings suggest. That new study conducted in Japan looked at the TV habits of 86,000 people, and researchers followed people who were aged between 40 and 79, and uh, they followed them through a 19-year period. 59 deaths from pulmonary embolisms were recorded. That's a pretty dangerous condition, isn't it? That's exactly correct. And the interesting thing about the study is that it just, all it did is it took out every other risk factor, which includes obesity, smoking, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. So if you take out those risk factors, you have that two times increase in risk of death. Now imagine if you add those risk factors which come along with usually binge watching. People that usually, you know, sit there and watch a lot of TV may not be as exercise, you know, friendly as fit and so forth. So you're correct. It's scarier because that's not counting all those other issues. You're exactly correct. So you can watch a couple of episodes, but maybe get up, take the dog out for a walk in between, take a break every now and then. What I would definitely, definitely recommend is every hour after you, after you watch the show, stop every hour and get up for five or ten minutes, five, even five minutes just getting up, moving around, like you said, walking around uh, is going to be uh, beneficial. Or even if you're watching the TV, just move your legs. It's kind of like when we tell you you're, you know, you're flying you know, long distance, move your legs around. Moving your legs increases your muscle, putting pressure on the veins so it can move the blood away. So that way you don't develop the DVT, which are blood clots in the legs, which can travel up to the lungs, which is called a pulmonary embolism. So it's moving your legs, moving your extremities, which is the key factor. Well, doctor, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Is there a website that we can get more information? Yes. What you can usually do is there's a WebMD, and you can actually uh, type in there about, uh, you know, uh, binge watching and exercise or TV and exercise. And what I would recommend is anytime you have a commercial, get up and move around. If you're recording these shows every hour, just get up and walk around. And more than anything, Stay fit, exercise, and don't eat too many snacks. Would watching binge porn have the same effect, Doc? <laughs> I think that's probably even worse. That's even worse. Yeah. Increase, so you're correct. I just wanted to check it out because some of the people here in the studios had that, uh, <laughs> had that they wanted to have that cleared up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much for having me on. All right, Dr. Pablo Sabalos joining us this morning on AM Tampa Bay.